Hello to all students. I hope you are doing fine. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss general characteristics of phylum Annelida, and we are specifically going to consult class Oligochaeta. Class Oligochaeta contain worm-like animals, which are usually known as earthworms. So let's move on to the uh, our lecture. If we look at the meaning of class Oligochaeta, Oligo mean few, Keta mean hair, because these animals contain small hair-like appendages on their body. So that is why these are known as Oligochaeta or Oligochaeti. This class of phylum Annelida contain worm-like animals, which are known as usually earthworm, which can be seen here and there in rainy season. This is a body of an earthworm, which is known as Lumbricus terrestris. Its body is divided into different segments which are which can be seen exterior to the body and they are as well as they are present in the interior of the body. So these animals which which have their body divided into equal parts, equal segments are known as metamerically segmented. First of all, what is their location? What is their occurrence? They are usually found in fresh water marine water and most of them and uh, most of these species found in moist soil as because they are living in terrestrial conditions their body is look usually elongated worm like with anterior end and posterior end dorsal side and ventral side their body usually lack peripodia which is a very important appendages for locomotion in phylum annelida they they lack parapodia because they are uh, they become uh, hindrous in uh, burrowing activity. So they, uh, as compared to parapodia, they contain CT, which are made up of chitin, so that uh, they can help in locomotion. We will discuss in the later in this uh, video. On front side, there is a mouth, which is, contain a structure, which is known as prostomium, which contains sensory organs. And on the posterior side, there is an anus, which is used for uh, excretion of undigested food on the surface of the body if you see there is a structure which is known as clitellum this clitellum secrete mucus and uh, helps in the copulation during sexual reproduction between two species usually these animals are scavengers and they use dead organic matter of animals and plants which is found in uh, soil so they eat soil and uh, in the soil if there are dead organic matter they will take it as a food so now let's uh, discuss uh, different uh, uh, systems and internal and external structure of earthworm with help of a diagram so i had already made a diagram for you so this is a cross section of the body of an earthworm if you look at the interior side there is an opening which is known as mouth through which food enters into the mouth and on the dorsal side of the mouth, there is a structure which is known as prostomium. And on the ventral side, there is a structure which is known as peristomium. Prostomium usually contains sensory organs in the form of ocellus, sensilla, and chemoreceptors, which help in the detection of different types of stimuli present in the environment. If you look on the dorsal side, there is a body wall of the earthworm, which is segmented and which is protected by a layer of cuticle and under the cuticle there is epidermis and under the epidermis there are muscles which are known as circular muscles and longitudinal muscle which help in the locomotion in the same way on the ventral side of the body there is also a body wall now let's move on to the digestive system of the body as you can see in this diagram the blue color portion of the diagram show its digestive system just behind the mouth there is an opening which leads into buccal cavity buccal cavity is like opening which is used for feeding and buccal cavity leads into a wider portion of the gut which is known as pharynx. Food moves from buccal cavity into pharynx and then a tube-like structure which is known as esophagus and then food reaches into a wide portion of the gut which is known as crop where food is stored for, for some time. 
from crop food is transported into another sac like structure which is known as gizzard which is used for grinding the food and after grinding the food food is pushed into the intestine intestine uh, contain several glands which secrete enzymes and these enzymes helps to digest the food and after digested food is uh, uh, absorbed in the intestine after absorption undigested food is excreted out the body if through anus in the form of small pellets of soil small intestine also contain an invagination which is known as tiflosol which increases the surface area for absorption and digestion of the food and uh, on the dorsal side of the uh, uh, intestine and gut there are some tissues and there are some cells which are known as chlorigogen tissue they help in the function of liver and excrete nitrogenous waste try to excrete nitrogen will help to excrete nitrogenous waste from the food near the heart there are also some structure which are known as calciferous glands which helps to remove calcium from the food now if we look at the circulatory system of the earthworm there is a closed circulatory system present in earthworm which is composed of a uh, five pair of hearts and uh, dorsal and ventral blood vessels and commissural blood vessel on the dorsal side of the body as you can see in this diagram red color this there is a dorsal blood vessel which is running from anterior to the posterior side of the body and giving branches to all parts of the body near the area of esophagus there arises some branches from the dorsal blood vessel which moves into the towards the ventral blood vessel and blood is moved from dorsal to ventral side through these connections these connections are termed as hearts there are five pair of hearts present on the lateral side of the gut which helps the pump the blood helps pump the blood from dorsal blood vessel to ventral blood vessel then blood moves from ventral blood vessel to different parts of the body gaseous exchange usually takes place uh, through skin because skin is moist uh, kept moist with the help of glands which uh, increases the absorption of oxygen from the atmosphere and water and this absorbed oxygen is transported into the blood and through blood this oxygen is transported all the way to uh, different parts of the body and the same way co2 and, and ammonia nitrogenous waste gases can also be removed from the blood through help of with the help of skin if we look at the nervous system of the body there is a nerve ring made up of ganglia present on the uh, area of buccal cavity this nerve ring arises a, a nerve cord which runs ventral to the body this is known as ventral uh, ring ventral nerve ring nerve cord which contain ganglia in different portions of the body uh, usually one ganglia in each segment which regulate the body function of in each organ if we look at the excretory system excretory system is composed of metanephridia metanephridia are usually present in the form of pair in and each uh, pair of the metanephridia which are act like a kidney present in each segment of the body and which helps to remove the nitrogenous waste from the body which i will discuss uh, in future in a separate lecture body contain a cavity which is known as siloam siloam contain siloamic fluid which help in the uh, hydrostatic skeleton of the body now let's move on to another diagram which is a cross section of an earthworm so we can see more detail about the different organs of the body outside first let's start from the out outside of the body there is a cuticle which is a protective layer present all around the body of the earthworm which is protective just below the cuticle there is an epidermis epidermis uh, um, below the epidermis there are uh, muscles which are uh, usually circular muscles and longitudinal muscles circular muscles present in the circumference of the earthworm and longitudinal muscles present along the length of the earthworm which help in the locomotion inside the body there is a cavity which is known as siloam which is filled with siloamic fluid and both uh, uh, circular muscle and longitudinal muscles and siloamic fluid helps in the hydrostatic skeleton and also as well as in the help, uh, locomotion of the animal which i already discussed in a previous video if we look at the uh, body on uh, side of the body there are present ct which are made of chitin on the both side these are ct ct which help in uh, anchorage of the body during locomotion <clears throat> 
if you look at in the center of in the siloam there is a pair of nephridia as you can see in the this diagram a pair of nephridia meta nephridia one is on this side one is on this side both of these nephridia absorb uh, nitrogenous waste material from siloam through nephrostome and then and excessive waste material is removed through nephridiopore from outside of the body this is a dorsal blood vessel as you can see right over here and this is ventral blood vessel just below the digestive system there is also subneural blood vessel which also uh, there is also subneural blood vessel there is also subneural uh, nerve cord which runs along, along the length of the body there are also present gland cell on the ventral surface of the body which helps to secrete mucus which helps in the locomotion on the dorsal surface of the gut there are cholerogenic tissue which are act like a liver and helps to remove the nitrogenous waste tiflosol as i already mentioned these are invaginations of intestines as you can see this is a green color that is intestine which is runs along the whole length of the body and invagination is known as tiflosol which increases the surface area for digestion and absorption and uh, that's all so <clears throat> this is all for today and i hope it makes sense and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture until then bye